What's going on everyone? This is Christian from McGeeryFitness.com. Um, recently I've been getting tons of emails and uh, video blog requests about uh, snacks, like healthy snacks that you can get from the grocery store. Um, so anyway, I just came back from the grocery store. I actually went to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Um, so if you're here in the Bay Area, you know where Trader Joe's and Whole Foods is. But some of you that you know follow us, that live outside the country or in other states, you may not have a Whole Foods, but there are, um, I believe, healthy uh, supermarkets out in your area that have similar items that you could purchase. So just to be honest with you guys, uh, I do eat 90% of the time healthy, but every once in a while, I'm just like everybody else. I, you know, I like to have my comfort food too, but with that said, I choose healthier kinds of foods. And because I do do uh, flexible dieting, um, most of these foods fit in my macro numbers for the day. So just because I'm showing you guys this food, I'm, it's just a suggestion. I'm not saying for you guys to follow everything that I'm doing. I'm just showing you guys some examples of healthy snack choices that you can have. And again, because I do flexible dieting, uh, I track my macros, I track my fats, my protein, and my carbs for the day. And based on my fitness level and for my fitness goals, I eat accordingly to my goals. So with that said, don't copy me because we all have different body types. We all metabolize food differently, but I'm just going to show you guys what I picked up. So check it out. So one of my favorite items that I like is brownies. This is a Flax for Life brownie, a non-GMO. Um, these are little tiny brownies just like this. These taste exactly like brownies, you guys. I love these things. Let me show you guys the macros on the back. Let me see if I could get this thing to focus in on you guys for you. Okay, here we go. Um, sorry if my hands are shaking. I just had some caffeine. But for one brownie, it's about 7 grams of fat. And if you guys can see that, 16 grams of carbs. So based on my macros, for depending if it's a reefy day, a low-carb day, or um, a higher-carb day for me, it uh, these fit as a snack. Okay, so depending on what your goals are, maybe some of these snacks don't fit, but I usually have about two or three of those brownies. Uh, here's another one from Flax for Life. These are apple cinnamon muffins. High in fiber, about 10 grams of fiber per muffin. So if you guys can kind of see that, these are super good. Um, my, my son likes them. So the macros on here per muffin, seven grams of fat, and about 24 grams of carbs so I can actually get away by getting two of these things and typically when I do when I do have something sweet like this is high in sugar high in carbs um, I usually have this as like kind of like a pre-workout snack just to give me some energy but um yeah but anyway if you guys like sweets if you have a sweet tooth just like me these are some of the sweet things I like to have now on to chips I love chips just like everybody else so these are the brands this is a Boulder Canyon, and this is a 360 everyday value. So I like my spicy foods. This is a jalapeno, and for one ounce of these kinds of chips, it's about 7 grams of fat and 17 grams of carbs. So I usually have about 2 ounces of chips, so just as a little snack. Let me show you guys the macros on this one. They're about the same. It's about 7 grams of fat about 17 grams of carbs so that's really like the ratio you guys that I look when I'm checking out for healthy snacks and everything I, I make sure that the fats are relatively low and the carbs are relatively low these are the next things I like tater tots but I, I try to pick the, the healthier kind again this is by the same company 365 um, sweet potato tater tots and then I got sweet potato fries let me show you guys the macros on this quick easy snack you guys can see it's gonna focus in about four and a half grams of fat 23 grams of carbs so I'll get about I think the serving size on here it's about three ounces yeah can you see that about three ounces and let's see on the sweet potato fries relatively the same Let me refocus five grams of fat 22 grams of carbs same thing about three ounces uh, per serving so I'll just have one ounce and I usually have that with like my chicken and vegetables or if I'm uh, having uh, my 98 fat-free ground beef I'll have it with that 
so I like cheese just like everybody else and I actually got this at Trader Joe's and this is the light Mexican blend so I usually make like a a quesadilla or I'll put mix this cheese in with my egg whites in the morning time so let me show you guys the macros so for about a fourth of a cup one fourth of a cup it's 4.5 grams of fat one gram of carbs so if you're a cheese eater this is a pretty cool brand for you guys to pick up at Trader Joe's you guys could pretty much mix this with anything uh, next item fat free cottage cheese I got this from Trader Joe's this is the Trader Joe's brand let me show you guys the macros on here so about half a cup uh, no fat four grams of carbs and really high in protein you guys 14 grams of protein so this is actually like a nice late night snack it has casein protein so it's a slow digestive protein so it acts just like egg white so if you're hungry at night you want a quick little snack that's nutritious and macro friendly this is the cottage cheese okay you guys so that's it uh, those are my grocery items that I picked up for the week. Those are my healthy snacks that I like to eat. And again, I'm eating accordingly to my fitness goals. So you don't need to copy anything. I'm just trying to help you guys out by just showing you guys some suggestions because I'm sure there's going to be some people that's going to criticize the chips, the cheese, and all that. But I know what works for my body. I try to keep things uh, low in fat, low in carbs. Uh, based for my goals so whether you're cutting losing weight bulking trying to put on muscle most of the foods I did show you will fit if you have been tracking your numbers and your progress so I hope you guys enjoy the video um, it was a pleasure making this video for you guys if you guys have any more suggestions anything you guys want to see in terms of nutrition uh, let me know in the comments section below this is Christian Aguirre from AguirreFitness.com and I'll talk to you guys soon